chart of accounts. UNITAS just learned its project to improve the organizational capacity of community groups has been approved. One of the first steps the UNITAS team takes to launch the project is to set up the financial system that supports the team as it plans, implements, monitors and controls the project. A central tool the team uses to organize its project finances is the chart of accounts. The chart of accounts is quite simply a coding structure for financial transactions. Each category of income and expenditure for the project is attached to a numerical account code. These codes come from UNITAS's chart of accounts, a table that identifies different types of income and expenditure. For example, the UNITAS Capacity Building Project will need to rent a training center to host workshops and purchase meals for trainees. The chart of accounts includes an account named Food and Accommodation. The account code is 6020 and the notes for that code confirm that this code covers expenses related to room, hire and food. So, how does the project team use the chart of accounts in practice? First, during the planning phase, as the team develops the budget, assigning each project income source and expenditure a code from the chart of accounts. Next, during the implementation phase of the project, the project team refers to the account codes in the budget to ensure that invoices and receipts are coded to the right budget line items. During the financial monitoring phase, the codes from the code of accounts are used to ensure project spending is consistent with what was estimated in the budget. Finally, through the life of the project, account codes are used for many of the internal control activities, whether that be in reviewing payment vouchers, reporting on project variances, or completing project audits.